Hi everyone, Angie McConnell here from the Edmonton Humane Society welcoming you to our new Facebook page. As you can see, our Facebook page has switched over to the timeline view, so it does look quite a bit different than it did before. One of the main things you will notice um, right away is that it has a cover photo, so you can showcase even on your own personal page um, some of the things about yourself or what you liked. In our case, we're showcasing some of our animals and some really nice animal quotes. Another thing too, as you scroll down, you'll see that this says highlights and you're probably wondering to, wondering to yourself, what does highlights mean? Well, Facebook has come up with an algorithm that will calculate which posts they, that you do that they think are the most valuable to be on your page. Now this is a Facebook algorithm, so there's nothing we can do to change it. However, if you would like to see absolutely every post we post, there are some options for you. Now the highlights page will show just the algorithm uh, posts that we do post that they think you should have a look at. But as you scroll down, you'll see that it goes from some posts we just did to middle of February. If you'd like to see some more recent posts on the highlight page, again, all you have to do is click see more recent posts and boom, they're there and it, they are the highlights of our page. Now, returning back to the top of our page, you will see that as you click on the highlights button, you can actually click on post by page. This will show absolutely every post that the Edmonton Humane Society has put on our page. But again, as you scroll down, you will notice that it jumps to February, so you will have to click on see more recent stories, and there they all are. Now, another thing you're gonna notice when you're returning to the highlights page is that all of the posts on our wall are actually by the Edmonton Humane Society. You must be wondering, where are my posts, or where are the posts that other people post? Well, there's two ways to look at them. Number one, you can see recent posts by others on the Humane, Edmonton Humane Society's wall. By clicking See All, they will pop up on a screen like this for you. So you can scroll down and have a look. If you would like to see these posts on our main page, all you have to do is click on where the it says Highlights, scroll down to Posts by Others, click on that, and there they all are. Another neat feature to this is you can see how your friends are interacting with the Edmonton Humane Society by clicking on Friend Activity. As you can see, some of my friends like the Edmonton Humane Society, and some of them have even reposted some of the stuff that we've been doing. It's a very neat option if you want to see what your friends are doing. Back to our main page now of highlights. You can see um, all your friends that like the Edmonton Humane Society. As well, it'll show one post of what one of your friends has done on our page, the posts by others, and the things that we'd like. Before, you could see the things that we liked by looking to the left of the page where all the tabs were listed. You might be wondering where all those tabs have went to. They're actually right here, right below the cover photo. So if you have a click on this eight, where it says down, you'll see that we, of course, um, have eight more tabs that we have that are hidden when you default come to the default page of the Edmonton Humane Society. These tabs, of course, are our photos, videos, Twitter, how many people like us, Pinterest, joining our newsletter, and more, as you can see. Now, to rehide that, you just click on the up arrow, and it goes away. You're probably wondering, too, what happened to all the information on the Edmonton Humane Society? Well, it's right here lists us as a nonprofit organization and as soon as you click on about boom all of our contact and information including our social media policy pop up back to our main page now one last thing to show you if you would like to have a look at what we've done in the past say what we were doing in October of 2011 instead of scrolling and scrolling and scrolling as you would have had to before you can now click on the year 2011 and then all the months pop up you want to have a look at October and there you are, things happening in October of 2011 at the Edmonton Humane Society. So some very neat features to this timeline. It might seem a bit tedious at first to get used to. However, it is a step in the right direction for Facebook and we feel that it's very exciting and it allows us to showcase things like our pictures 
uh, a lot better on our wall. So very, very interesting. If you have any questions on the timeline, please feel free to ask away. We would love to help you figure out how to use it better and um, just gives you better accessibility as to what's going on with the Edmonton Humane Society. So all you have to do is put a post on our wall asking a question or now with the new way the pages work, you can actually send us a direct message. We look forward to hearing from you and hope you enjoy our new Facebook timeline page.